Welcome to Baja on High. Let me take you on an aerial tour. I was amazed to see all that Baja has to offer to both visitors and those of us who live here. Baja off-road racing has a long history that dates back to 1967. Today we witnessed a race at the Laguna Salada where we have lap races running through the desert. In most races, drivers are spread out minute by minute, but here, groups of four to five cars start all at once, making for an exciting beginning to each heat. You're in the right place if you like sports and action. There are parks in many cities in Baja, such as this zoo found in the center of Mexicali. Motorcycle enthusiasts love the toll road that goes from Tijuana to Ensenada, or without a motor on the Rosarito-Ensenada bike ride. The desert found around the Laguna Salada is an impressive natural beauty found in Baja. You love hiking around the surrounding mountains. If you have a good off-road vehicle, you may visit the Canyon de Guadalupe, hidden in the mountains about 30 miles off the highway. Here, you find hot springs that come up naturally to make a desert oasis. When traveling along the border, we come to the Rumorosa. Huge boulders cover the mountainous area that peaks at over 4,000 feet above the sea level. It now has two lanes going each direction, making the road safe to travel. If you come to the Rumorosa in winter, you may be fortunate enough to find some snow near the peak and in some of the areas to the immediate west. San Quintín 
is home to a series of bays that are well known for their oyster farms. The area used to be a British colony and the remnants are seen of their efforts to construct a railroad to connect to the north. Today, kayaking, boating and fishing are some of the enjoyable things people do here. Highway 1 is the main corridor that connects Baja together. Traveling here brings you into beautiful scenery, especially after a little rain makes everything green and lush. Few people know that the largest salt mine in the world is located in Baja. This resource is harvested by evaporating ocean water. Countries worldwide depend on this important industry. Farming is also very important to Baja. A large variety of crops are grown. These tomato farms use the latest greenhouse technology from Israel. If you eat a tomato in San Diego, it was probably grown in Mexico. Tijuana is the largest city in Baja. It is the most visited border city on earth. It is highly influential when it comes to economics, education, culture, and art. Business is booming in TJ. And when it comes to leisure, Baja's got it. Beach towns such as Rosarito and Ensenada have comfortable places to stay and beautiful beaches to see. Now you've had a taste of Bach on high, but we've barely scratched the surface. <laughs> 